What's going on on our stage? Twelve strong here from here from Stockholm. Twelve-piece jazz ensemble, the Coast Band, Coast Bonnet, the Coast Band, to distinguish them from the inland bands, the interior bands, the farmers band, the the Bonhamans band. These are guys from the coast, so as you can see by looking at them, they're more sophisticated than perhaps your relatives from Smoland. But we don't <laughs> we don't need to get into that, do we? No, we don't. Please welcome here this fine group, Jens Lindgren and Peter Carlson. Peter Lind back there in the trumpet section and playing piano. Peter Carlson is up here at the piano. And Joran Eriksson is with us as well, Hans Gustafsson. And John Hugman is that tall man there in the very front row, the tallest in the group. Frederick Olsen back there in the trumpet section, and Bo Yulin and Christer Olsen drums, and Joran Lind back there on the bass, and Bent Passion here on the trumpet and the cornet, and Klaus Turisson on the sax and the clarinet. Please welcome Kust Bonnet. <laughs> Veckan hände att någon per post mig sände ett litet brev som tände en glöd av het amor. Det stod ett namn i nunder som gett mig svåra stunder. Hon hade gjort en blunder. Det stod ej var hon bor. Om du vill ge mig adressen och säga hur dags så kommer jag strax. Säg inte nej. För då blir jag ledsen Just nu är jag mjuk Som vax Jag vet att vi båda ska trivas Och rakt inte kivas min vän Och det är väl något som gör att Det är värt att vi träffas igen Om du vill ge mig adressen Så kommer jag till dig strax You're driving me crazy. Peter Lynn back here singing. How'd you how'd you get into this 
singing old jazz. Or I might ask, how did you get into 18th century studies teaching at the <laughs> University of Uppsala? But well, we wanted. might start with the singing of um, old-time jazz garrison. When I was a young kid, my mother introduced me to a Swedish radio show featuring classic jazz. So I got to hear, you know, early era Bing Crosby, Brunswick era Crosby, uh, um, a British crooner called Al Bowley. And this made a huge impression on me. And, uh, well, I do my best. And so it's all under the influence of your mother, Peter. Indeed. My mother tried to keep me away from this music, and your, your mother led you straight to yes. it. Yes, and still we meet here, Garrison. Still no, we meet here. All right, well, you certainly look respectable enough. <laughs> Sing us another song back there in the trumpet section. It's called the Indian Cradle Song. Peter Lind here, Kustbana. back there, Peter Lynn. They're here visiting. They're here in town for a big dedication at the American Swedish Institute. The King and Queen of Sweden are with us, not with us here, but they're in a general sense they are here in Minnesota. And more from the band in a little bit. This first half hour. <laughs> Chris Bonner back here. I'm going to come up here and do you a song. What are you going to do? You're going to do a song in French? Jens, Jens, where did this song come from? 
What's yes. this all about? The song is uh, in French. We don't sing, what, uh, sing on it, but we have a soprano saxophonist playing. The but you part. play in French. We play in French. Yes, good, good. Yes. And where did this come from? Yeah. It's from um, uh, New Orleans-born soprano saxophonist Sidney Bechet, ah, who Sydney moved Bechet. to France in the 40s. Yes. And he started a uh, career there, and he was very successful. He felt at home there, mm -hmm. and he composed songs a little bit inspired by the French chanson. No. Yes. Really? Like this one. From New Orleans, by way of France, to Stockholm. Mm. Long trip for a song. <laughs> Here's Chris Bonnet, song by Sidney Bichette. <laughs> Oh, it's so great to have this Chris Bonnet here. 50 years, 50 years this band has been going. Has anybody here in the band been with you the whole 50? This gentleman right here. As you can see. What, what you see? You've been with them 50 years? 50 years. I they say it in Swedish. Health dress? Femti år. Femti år. We started when I was 16 years. Yes, 16 years old.
We were never formally introduced. My name is Carson Weiler, and you are... Okay. Mr. Bo Henry Julin. 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 So what part of Sweden do your people come from? From Stockholm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. And what do you do when you're not playing the trombone? Oh, um, uh, me, I'm a safety manager for a consultant uh, company in Stockholm, <laughs> in a railway uh, uh, organization. People entrust their lives to you. Yeah, <laughs> I know that. And <laughs> Believe me, they do too. Well, I would... Uh, there's nobody in the world I would rather entrust my life to than, than a Swede. We, they have a reputation for caution, perhaps not entirely earned, because they did come to, they did come to Minnesota, after all. They came here in the 1850s, and they, they formed this little town, Scandia, just up north of, north of St. Paul. The great tide of, of immigration was in the 1880s. There were half a million Swedes came because it was very hard times in Sweden. Unfortunately, they, they came to America and they came to a part of America that reminded them of Småland where they had left, forgetting that they had left Småland because the land was not that good. So, <laughs> but they've made do anyway. Play us another tune here. This is called Sugar Hill Function. Sugar Hill is in Harlem, and so play this with some jazz here. All right, coast bonnet. <laughs> Stockholm. 
heading back to Stockholm soon because next Saturday, October the 13th, Chris Bonnet will be at the Stockholm Concert Hall for a 50th anniversary concert. Louis Armstrong, not long before he died, mentioned in a letter that he wished he could play with Kust Bonnet. So now, you've heard them.